He's boy, isn't it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. You are so bad. Oh, I like the look of that. If you can't eat it, you've got to play with it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, might have to grab it. You see, if you chase him with it, you'll, you'll never get it. And the other bloke wants one too. Yeah, he wants one. Really. <laughs> I, want, I want one of those. Excuse me. Sorry, mate. We need all these camera bits. Yeah, yeah, he's on here. He's like, huh? That's my windsock. He knows I want it back, and this will keep the game going on a bit longer. I do want it back. Just swing it back. Just out of your reach. You gotta be quick, just as quick as they are. Hi to go, buddy. I'll see you later, eh? Time's up. And he's trying to keep me here. You've made a real friend there. Yeah. Stop biting me. Ah. Oh, boy. See you later, fella. I love you, mate. You'd be good in Africa. Hey, hey, not too rough. My heart is so full of love for these blokes, and it's obvious they don't want me to go. This game is so much fun, they never want it to end. Just like little human kids. They're very, very excited. Sorry, buddy. Take it. <laughs> you take it easy in Africa. Talk about strength. The only way I'm going to get out of here is a distraction at the other end of the enclosure. I've done a lot of stuff with a lot of different animals, but that was one of the highlights of my entire life. To go in there and spend such quality time one on one with a couple of beautiful young gorillas that are going back to Africa. How's that? Tomorrow. They're headed all the way back to Gabon, Africa to be released. Chewed me up a little, like, you know, got a few bits and pieces out of here and out of here, but who cares? You can't really feel it. And Damien taught me so much in such a concise period of time, you know, when I'm, hey, 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 that's like, <coughs> which is, you know, back off in gorilla language. Total horror. I love them, I just, mm, just love them. And when I wanted to leave that bang, the big shoulder barge, knock me Haywood, whew, what a great shoulder charge. Now these next guys are incredibly lively. There's an aggressive male in here, which is quite a good sign in Murlocs, because it's good breeding. But just try and keep it to the side. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. See, it's awesome. Good see, look, now they're coming to defend you, see, look. Thanks, guys. He was trying to get the crocodile hunter. Give me a piece of this just in case he comes back. Was that him, was it? That was him, but it's, it's funny that it's quite a good sign in these Molochs. Moloch gibbons from Indonesia are in a heck of a lot of trouble. Well, you want me, don't you? Uh-uh. They live on Java, just one Indonesian island, and their rainforest home is disappearing fast. Oh, 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 oh. You got good reflexes, mate. <laughs> Who's this naughty boy? Oh, you're very cute. Look at her haircut. What a great haircut. Hey. What are you doing? He's checking out Steve's scent. Well, use a conditioner. Moloch gibbons are the most critically endangered species at Howlett's, and their captive breeding program is another beacon of hope. These guys go like the blazes. And man, are they mischievous. He's a shocker. <laughs> He's going. The lemurs are next. I love them. And they're on the list for Australia Zoo. Lemurs. One of my favourite places in the entire world is Madagascar. The place of lemurs, the only place in the world that you find these incredible primates. Oh, I find them to be so friendly and so inquisitive. Interesting. Who wants a bit of celery? Would you like some? I don't like celery. Oh, they don't like celery. Oh. For a bit of apple. Apple, apple, apple. It's an apple, mate. How's that? No, I'm not into apple either. Have a look at this. Look, look, look. Look here. Grab and hold the things. Look at this. Look, you can see yourself in this thing. You want to see yourself? I want to see your bottom. Notice how they 
tilt their head way back, get the apple back on those chewing teeth. These incredibly gorgeous lemurs are found only in undisturbed forest in eastern Madagascar, and they're the victims of habitat destruction as well as hunting and trapping. Have a look at you. Can you see yourself in that camera? Can you see yourself right in there? Hey? Aren't they inquisitive? Check this out. It's like, is this edible? That camera isn't edible, you know. That camera isn't edible, you know. Aren't they inquisitive? Check the camera right out. You've got saliva on your lens. Elephants, the greatest land mammal of all. And by crikey, they make me nervous. It's all about knowing your own parameters. And those African elephants, they kind of, whoa, checking me out. Look at that bloke in the car keys. So I felt fear, and I decided just to drop back and let the experts do their job way up in front. Yeah, much safer that way. The Aspinalls believe the animal's welfare is more important than anything. Whatever it takes for the best habitat and the right diet. She's a funny girl. She's put some food on her head for later. Look at that. None of the elephants can get the food off her head. The fence is welded and bolted steel, open enough for keepers to slip through easily, but strong enough to resist the most powerful animal that walks on Earth. So this is Tammy. See, the keepers are very, very concerned for my safety and for good reason. These aren't tame elephants. She doesn't look happy. And let me tell you, I know enough not to push my luck. Respectful you know, to myself. You want me to move? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I would move. I'd move. Got um Neil right behind me here. He's going, move. No, I do. You can't afford to take risks with such huge animals. You see the keepers, they know I'm so much better than I ever would. These blokes deal with them every single day. And the one they keep an eye on is that big male up the top. If he comes down, everybody will be getting out. Whether it be um, here in a zoological facility or in circuses or even in the wild, elephants have killed a lot of people. They've claimed a lot of victims. Come up here Andy, you Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. How many kiss you have? Uh oh, we got competition. There's a girl. This one. Here. There's a girl. They're very, very dexterous. That trunk has just got the most amount of muscles in it. You girls love your apples. <laughs> I'm got any more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good, isn't it? How's that? This little one is actually Tammy's baby. Another captive breeding success. So you can see that one big fella looking right at us, standing right on top of the hay. That's the bull. Looks like he's going to come down. So, um, very important that we're very respectful. Here he comes. Have a look at this, mate. Have a go at this for power. Hey, big boy. The elephants live in a natural family herd, and the big bloke's real serious about protecting the group from anyone who gets too close. Hey, how are you, big fella? How are you going? It's all about territory. <laughs> that was elephant, but give me another apple. Yeah. <laughs> There's a trunk apple. in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> the Brazilian taper is another endangered species howlets are breeding successfully. As you would expect from looking at them, these guys have a great sense of smell through that long, supple, multi-purpose nose. What a weird snout, so flexible and perfect for controlling food. And in emergencies, they can hide underwater and use it as a snorkel. Better than anything, have a look at that snort, uh, snort, uh, snorkel. Have a look at that <laughs> schnoz. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Damien's going to introduce me to Kifu, his favourite gorilla and the Howlet legend. Hey, baby. How are you doing? What's your name, little fella? <laughs> How's that? Hi, sweetheart. 